So here we are asked to uh, show verify the given sentence P. That is, we have to show P is true using method of contradiction. So what method of contradiction will do is first we'll assume negation P is true. So negation P is true. This is uh, assumption. So first we'll assume this. After this, we'll from this we'll prove that it's contradicting. That is, it is a uh, it is false. Or uh, by assuming this, we show that it uh, opposes the uh, basic mathematical rules. And from that, we'll try to prove that it is wrong. So its opposite must be true. So here I have to assume that root seven is not irrational. That is, root seven is rational. So if I say root 7 is rational, that means root 7 can be written as uh, a by b. Some integers, a and b are both integers. So I must be able to write it like that. So now what will become is root 7, uh, if I square it, will become a square by b square. So that implies a square is equal to uh, roots, sorry. 7 into b square so now from this I get a equal to root 7 into b or or some way I should uh, I should be able to write uh, a equal to some 7 into c so that uh, so that uh, what you say so that uh, a should be some 7 into c because here a square by 7 which is equal to b square which is equal to b square must be must be an integer so a must have had already 7 in it so in some way or before understanding this here I'll show here a by b um, if you are writing a rational number p by q that means p and q have no common factors so if you, if I write p is equal to some n q, then n must be a factor of q, sorry, a factor of p. So because they both shouldn't have any uh, common factors here, uh, or otherwise so if I say some, so here similarly, if I say here a by b is rational number, is rational number because this we thought is equal to seven, which is rational then a comma b have no common uh, common whatsoever factors so that means a square and b square also have no common factors no common factors so if i say uh, a square is equal to 7 b square then that means a must be somehow having 7 as factor Otherwise, this we can't write because b square and a square doesn't have any common factors. So a must be the one which has uh, seven as uh, factor. So now that means a is equal to some seven into c. So now that means seven forty nine c square is equal to. That is, I just put a square in this. In this thing, we'll get seven into b square. So that implies seven c square equal to b square and from the previous logic uh, this must imply that b is having 7 as factor now now that means b is having 7 as factor but if b had 7 as factor then a by b can't be written as this rational thing so this so on this chain must end somewhere with uh, all the sevens cancelled on both numerator and denominator so that means this thing is a contradiction this there should not be any extra 7 coming out so that means uh, this is a contradiction and that means root 7 is not rational that means root 7 is irrational